Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the menu in Wix Studio, how you can edit the menu, design the menu, customize the menu, and go over a couple of things. So uh, the menu is one of the most tricky parts in Wix Studio. If you've used it, you know what I'm talking about. It's not the easiest thing to use. So we're gonna go over a couple of things uh, today. So here's the menu that I have inside of my Wix Studio uh, editor. And if I click the Manage menu, this is how I can start to edit the menu. So uh, right now, over on my Pages side, I have a few pages that are not in my menu. So I have these main pages here. These are all in there except for these two legal pages. Then I have the Portfolio pages, which aren't in there. There's only one that is the actual Portfolio, and you have to hover over the Services. So this is the menu element, and when I go into Manage Menu, the way that I can add pages to my menu is I click the Add Item, and then it gives me an option on what I want to add. So I have Main Pages, I can add Dynamic and App Pages, just a link, a submenu title, and a mega menu if I'm creating a mega menu. So I'm gonna add a app page because over here on the left-hand side, this portfolio section, those are part of an app and that's why they're also separated here with this gray drop down. So I'm going to add the project pages here and um, it's a which project I'm just going to add this one because it's, it's a dynamic page so I'm going to click done. So once that adds this one's adding as a link you can see it showed up here in the menu but I want it to be nested under this so I'm going to move it under our services and I can actually move it under portfolio as well. So I can have a drop down within a drop down and we can take a look at what that looks like. So right now it drops below and then goes over to the side. And then I could click into that project title and it would take me there. So this is just a wireframe website right now. Let me go back to my homepage. And if it doesn't take me there or wait, okay, I'll go there this way. So, um, you can edit all these different areas. You can design them, you can set the layout for them. So for example, let's go into the uh, manage menu again and then the layout. You can set what happens when you have more than one item and it was set to wrap. And if you remember the item drop down, if it was set to scroll, then you'd have to scroll to get over to those different items. You can also align the different menu items inside. You can see those changing when I do that. You can set the pixel, or sorry, the this is vertical, you can set the horizontal spacing between them. I'm just gonna leave it at eight pixels. Um, you can set the padding of the items um, and you can you can do it a couple different things. On the sub menu, you can pick what happens. So does it fly out or does it, does it act as columns? And then you can set the alignment. So right now it's fly out, I want it to be centered. I also want the text to be centered. So now that portfolio text just centered there um, and then you can again space the different items. If you change it to columns, we can see what that looks like when we preview. So now they're just all nested and I'm sure we could edit the way that that looks as well from the layout side of things. So number of columns, three, maybe I just want two or one. Spacing between menu, so then I can set that as well. Row spacing. I can set the row spacing and then the column alignment. I can set the column alignment and I get a whole bunch of other options in here. The other thing is those are just kind of the basic things you can do. So you can add items to your menu, which you have to do when you create new pages if you want them to show up there. You can uh, set the layout, but then you can also set the design. So let's start looking at the design over here on the design panel. So now I have the menu container. This is the container that houses the menu. Then you have the menu items, that's the actual text inside. Then you have the drop down container, which is this one. So we could change that. And then you also have the drop down items. So you can also design those, which is the text inside the drop down container. And then you have the sub menu titles. So there's all different things in here that you can design. It's like if we look at the drop down container, we can change the corners here. 
to be 10. So now they're right now it's rounded. Let's change it a bit more. So now it's even more rounded. So this is how you would edit and customize your menu further to get it exactly how you want it. And if we look at the drop down items, we look at the text, we can change the text color to blue or to gray. So there's all kinds of things you can do inside of the different menu items. And also, it's you can also design based on the state of those items. So regular versus hover or current page. Uh, same with the menu items, regular versus hover versus current page. Um, so I just wanted to highlight that, that there are ways you can customize your menu um, and, and change it up. And you can add a mega menu if you want inside of your menu. Um, and then for the different devices, you have your hamburger menu. So here on the tablet, this one's a hamburger menu with a drop down there on mobile. Hamburger menu with a drop down. So you can also customize this as well. So you just have to click on the device you want to edit. You click Edit Menu, and then you can get into, again, managing the menu, the layout here, what side's the arrow on, the text alignment, and then you can also look at the design. So again, you want to make sure that you're editing the right area. So for example, this is the text, uh, text of the uh, menu and you want to edit the uh, submenu. So if I look at the submenu color, then the submenu color is just going to change blue versus just the regular menu color, which I could change to gray or to black. So you have to be kind of careful on what you're editing here, but you can edit every little aspect of the menu. Um, and they've recently updated these menus to make them a bit better and easier to use. Um, give you a few other custom, some more customizable options for the menus. Um, so just wanted to highlight that again. I think it's important getting the menu right can be really tricky and um, can be difficult to get the design you want. So I uh, hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video.